Good morning, Orchard STEM School. This is Mr. Hoydick, the art teacher. Today we will be working on how to draw a mandala, part three. Now, this is where we left off last time. And as I look at my creation, I can see that there are some parts that I need to add to. I had some ideas, some themes. One theme was red circles. Now, as I look at my picture, do I see any circles that are not colored red? Yes, I do. I see one here. And here. And here. And here. Now I want to stand back. Do I see any more? No. No, I don't. All the triangles were supposed to be blue. Do I see any triangles? that are not blue. Yes, I see some. Triangle right here, that should be blue. Right here. This one over here I'd like to make a little neater. Now if you remember last time, my technique was to press hard on the outside and light in the middle. I'm gonna to try to continue to do that. But some of these small details might be hard to draw or to color. Hard on the outside and light in the middle. But I'll do my best. I want to look. Are there any triangles that I did not color in blue? Why, yes. Here's one. So there should be one on the other side. Here's one. So symmetrical should mean there's one over here. Now I see quite a few ovals. And I'm going to add a different color for the ovals. Let's say we use purple. So let's start here with these purple ovals. And right here, let's add some purple ovals. Right here, the purple oval. Right there, the purple oval. Right here. And right here. And right here. Right over here. I'm trying not to color over my red element that's in there. And right here. And right here, and right there. And then these, oh, right here as well. These, right inside of here. Now I want to stand back from my mandala creation and see, am I missing any ovals? I don't see any. All right, I'm going to add, introduce another color. And this one, I'm going to introduce an orange and for the orange, I want to find empty space in my mandala. So anywhere that I see empty space, I think I'd like to color it in orange. I do not like using a color next to the same color. Right here, I am not going to color it orange. So that means I need to skip some sections. And do you know what? This arc right here, I will make this big arc orange. And this one. And this one. 
in this one. There we go. Now, I want to add more of that purple. But I want to take the purple all the way to the outside. So I'll press hard on the edges and then lighter in the middle. Hard on the edges and light in the middle. Uh, let's do this one. And hard on this edge. And this one. Let's go light in the middle. Finally. Yeah, there we go. Now, I have some areas here, here, and also this little flame piece up here. You know what? I'm going to introduce one last color, and it's going to be yellow. And so what I can do is anywhere that I need to finish filling in, I can finish with yellow. And that includes between the purple. And these little areas here. And a little flame piece. I'm going to stand back and look at it. I see. I see some areas that need a little bit of touching up. And so if the pencil is too light or I see too much white, I'll go back and touch that up. Right over here as well. Now, before I decide I'm finished, I need to ask myself, do I want to grow my mandala any larger? If I want to, now's the time. If it is large enough and I think it's detailed enough, it is time to pick the background color. So, next time when we meet, I'll show you how I will cut out on the mandala and then... I'll pick what color it should be mounted on. If I choose green, you can see it pulls up the green that's in the picture. If I choose purple, you can see it pulls up the purple that's in the picture. If I choose red, you can see it pulls out the red that's in the picture. So we'll talk next time about what color we should mount our mandala on, and also any other details that we need to finish up. All right. Thanks so much. I can't wait to see your progress. Have a great day.